Hi, my name is Lauren with How Stuff in My CarWorks.com. In today's video, I will explain how the ignition system works. The ignition system's main purpose is to provide the engine with a proper spark at the right time to allow the air fuel mixture in the combustion chamber to ignite. Ignition systems in older carbureted engines usually have the following parts a distributor, ignition points, condenser, ignition rotor, distributor cap, ignition coil, spark plug wires, and spark plugs. This system was used on vehicles built prior to 1975 and usually easier to diagnose with less expensive diagnostic tools. In this particular system, the ignition points were prone to malfunction and it was suggested that you replace them every 10,000 miles. Also, the points and condenser were replaced at the same time. These items were found inside the distributor housing. In this early ignition system, the ignition points sends a signal to the ignition coil to turn off the magnetic field. The magnetic field is converted to the high voltage needed to ignite the fuel-air mixture in each cylinder. The high voltage then converts into a spark in the spark plug. Each spark plug gets the high voltage at the right time thanks to the distributor. The distributor is also the part that controls the ignition timing. The ignition points and the condenser are located inside the distributor. The points ride over several lobes in the distributor shaft. There are as many lobes as there are cylinders. The points open and close as they ride up and down on these lobes. The ignition points are connected with the negative terminal of the ignition coil. Every time the points open as they go up on each lobe, the negative signal is interrupted. This causes the magnetic field inside the ignition coil to collapse. This action produces a high voltage current. This high voltage current travels through the ignition coil wire to the distributor. The coil wire is attached to the center of the distributor cap. The current is sent to each cylinder through the ignition rotor. As previously mentioned, the high voltage current is converted to a spark in the spark plug. The way this is accomplished is through a gap in between the two electrodes. The second electrode is a ground electrode because it is attached to the spark plug which is threaded to the cylinder head. After 1975, most vehicle manufacturers introduced the electronic ignition module. This ignition module was used to replace the points and condenser in early vehicle models. This ignition module is more accurate at any RPM. It also has a longer life. It is not uncommon to see vehicles with this sort of ignition module last over 200,000 miles. Take note that even though these ignition modules were an electronic device, those vehicles did not have an ECM yet. The ignition module received a signal from the pickup coil mounted inside the distributor housing. Most distributors still have a vacuum advance mechanism to advance and retard the ignition timing. In the late 80s and early 90s, the ignition system became more sophisticated with the introduction of the fuel injection system. The modern ignition system uses a crankshaft position sensor. This sensor reads the engine revolutions. It is usually mounted by the harmonic balancer or at the other end of the engine at the transmission bell housing. This sensor, along with the camshaft position sensor, sends a signal to the ECM. This signal is used to determine the position of each cylinder. The computer uses this information to send a spark to the cylinder that needs it at the right time. The most common arrangement in modern engines is an ignition coil mounted over each cylinder. This eliminates the need of spark plug wires and distributors. In either setup, the timing is controlled by the ECM. For example, if the engine starts pinging under a heavy load, the computer will be able to retard the timing. This is accomplished by using the signal sent by the knock sensor. For more tutorials regarding the ignition system, troubleshooting, and component replacement, visit our website, howstuffinmycarworks.com.